Hey guys, Link264, and uh, I'm here with a different sort of video today. Um, I want your opinion on something. Eventually, I'm going to be doing a few Game Boy games, original Game Boy games. And as you know, when you play a Game Boy original game on a Game Boy Player, or a Game Boy Color and a Game Boy Advance, or SP, uh, you can choose a colour palette. Now, this is the default colour palette if you don't press any button on the GameCube controller. If you press up on the GameCube controller while the game is loading, you will get this brown effect. Now, what I'm wanting is I've recorded all the effects, you know, put a graphic on screen and uh, some sort of music ditty in the background that you're listening to. Um, and I just want to know. What do you think of each um, colour palette and which one do you think would be best? I've got a few favourites. I quite like this pastel mix to be honest, pressed down on the d-pad. But I'm not sure it'll work for all games. Um, I'm not going to be doing this for every game. I've chosen Super Mario Land as the uh, guinea pig for this game. Because that's probably going to be the first Game Boy game that I do. Um, I do quite like the palette pastel mix, but like I said, I don't think it would work for every game. Um, I could of course do it in standard, just black and white grey, but that will be coming soon. Uh, press left on the d-pad and you'll get this blue effect. Uh, I don't really have too much to say. Uh, you know, you're just going to be watching the Colour palettes, and uh, I just like to see. I'd just like to know your. It's uh, God. I'd just like to know what you think of each colour. Which one do you think would be best for this game? Which one do you think could be best for other games? Like I said, I'm not going to do this for every game that I do. Um, once I've probably picked one now, I'll probably stick with it. This is uh, press right on the D-pad and you get green. I don't like this one, um, but I suppose. You're the guys that are going to be watching it, so it's totally up to you. But to me, this one just looks... For this game in particular, it looks a bit crap. Uh, basically what I did is I recorded each colour palette on the game I play using my Dazzle, and, you know, splice it all together in Vegas. Uh, press up and A, and you get red. I quite like this one. I'm just going to take a drink. Yeah, I quite... Oh no, it's not this one that I like. <laughs> Red and a green Mario. Nah, that do not look too good. Uh, no, I thought it was this one. So, so far we've got palette mix, pastel mix. Um, I believe the one that I missed as well that I quite like, but I can't remember. Um, the default one's not bad, but coming up soon is one that I actually do like, and I think, in my opinion, I'd use, you know, without, without doing this, without asking you what you think. But I thought, well, I'll... Uh, I'll see what you think. So like I say, you're the guys that are going to be watching it, so... Oh, down and orange. Uh, da down and A is orange. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, what you're listening to in the background, by the way, is the Super Mario Ceremony 25th Anniversary uh, track which is on YouTube, I'll try and put the link in the description, but I haven't had too much luck with that. Left and A is dark blue. Is this one that I like? Yeah, this one's not too bad. Uh, so far I do like pastel mix, but it's not to everyone's taste, I suppose. Uh, dark blue's kind of good, you know, Mario's red, everything's blue. Goombas are red, you know, things like that. It's, it's a fairly decent... Um, Pastel uh, palette. Right and A is dark green. So you're seeing a trend here: up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right, plus A, and the last set are up, down, left, right, and press B. Of course, there is the original. Just don't press anything. Just let the game load up, which was at the start, which is just default. Uh, if you think of where I've got the names from, I haven't actually named these the colours what they are, dark green pastel mix. These are actually from the original Game Boy Player um, instruction manual. Now, up and B, the B colours are a bit strange. 
they're not really like colourful or whatever. Uh, so open B is dark brown. Now this isn't too bad, it's sort of a sepia colour. Um, it's not too bad for a Game Boy game. Uh, obviously, Game Boy original games didn't have colour, they were on a monochrome screen. So, I think it's good that they uh, give some choice. It was a good little addition. Down and B is yellow. Not too charmed on this, to be honest. I am not. Uh, I'm not bothered about actually doing it in original black and white, which I think is the next one coming. Uh, which I think is left and B. Um, no, this th this yellow. It's just not not to my taste. Freaking blue Mario and yellow everything. It, it's just don't look right. You know, some do look nice. Some do do, do look quite shit. Uh, um, <coughs> but yeah, so here is Left and B, original grey monochrome, which I don't think is too bad. But tell me what you think guys, like I say, would you be happy seeing original Game Boy games the way they were played back in the day, in original grey, black and white? Or would you like that little bit of colour from pastel mix or one of your personal favourites? Or are you not bothered at all and just let me choose what I want? It's totally up to you. Whatever you do, please don't choose right and B, which is reverse. Which is basically, uh, yeah, yeah. It, it we're not playing Super Mario Horror Land here, you know, we're just playing original Super Mario Land. This one to me just it's probably just in there for effect, for fun. Maybe they run out of ideas. So yeah, it's 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 not really something you want to make an LP out of. But tell me what you think, guys, and I'll see you next time.